I'm Richard Roper, and coming right up, Matt Damon sees and hears dead people in Clint Eastwood's Hereafter. My review right now. Eight decades into his life, Clint Eastwood continues to churn out one interesting, unique film after another. Hereafter is no exception. It's one of the best movies of the year. I don't even do this anymore. Like Crash and Babel, Hereafter is one of those movies with multiple storylines that run a parallel course and then finally connect at a pivotal moment. Matt Damon is front and center in a great performance as George. He's a factory worker in San Francisco. He has an amazing psychic gift. He can actually communicate with people in the hereafter, but he thinks of it as much more of a curse. You know, knowing everything about someone, uh, it's, uh, you know, it seems nice, but really, maybe it's, it's, it's actually better to hold stuff back. Cecile de France plays a French TV journalist who has a near-death experience that changes her life. She deserves a Best Supporting Actress nomination for her wonderful work here. Also lovely and amazing is Bryce Dallas Howard. She plays a young woman who meets George, strikes up a possible romance with him. We also get a story about a young English boy who loses his twin brother and goes on a quest to communicate with him. This is a movie that just asks us to take a leap of faith. We're supposed to believe that Matt Damon has this gift. Clint Eastwood doesn't spend a lot of time exploring it. We take it at face value. He grounds the story in some realities. The tsunami in the Indian Ocean in 2004, the London bombings of 2005. So we really feel the tragedies that happen here. But ultimately, this is a story about people who are trying to find peace and closure by communicating with people they've lost. It's a bold and interesting and spiritual film. I give it an A. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com.